This season on Ego Trips, The White Rapper Show. We're on a mission to find the next white rapper who can rep hip hop to the fullest. But it's not going to be easy, because historically, white rappers have had to walk at least eight miles uphill to make it big. That hasn't stopped anyone from trying. If hip hop wound up in the suburbs, it must have been picked up when it fell out of Snoop's cupboard. Bobby Brown is in a rage, he's a kicking up dirt in the baddest cage. So we're gonna search the nation, choose 10 white MCs, and ship them to the South Bronx. South Bronx, the South South Bronx. Here in the birthplace of hip hop, their love and knowledge of the culture will be put to the test. You better come with the heat. Along the way, they'll get schooled by hip hop heavyweights. Just plays? Gotta have passion. But only if you put everything into it, is it, is it gonna work for you? You did. get a chance to prove their lyrical prowess. I'm like a prodigy and I'm here to teach you. Your little dead daughter say, Daddy, why he beat you? And fight to stay in the game. Sometimes they'll triumph. Black stereotypes that blacks secretly believe are true. Large penises. Sometimes they'll trip. <laughs> That was wild right there. It's all a part of their quest to gain hood credibility, 100 Gs, and more importantly, respect. Get this man a deal right here, man. So who will step up to become hip-hop's next great white hope? Because Lord knows it's lonely at the top. Hallelujah, holla back. Hip-hop, up in the Bronx. The funky fresh place where it all starts. Hip-hop, state of the art. You gotta pay due to get a piece of the rock. What up, y'all? I'm your host, MC Search, co-founder of the legendary hip-hop group Third Base. Yo, who gets a gas face? I'm here with my old friend. There he is. Legendary hip-hop producer, Prince Paul. One, two, three, and here we go. After screening thousands of audition tapes, we are here at the final auditions, where we now have to find the 10 lucky finalists who compete for 100 Gs. We'll be putting their hip-hop knowledge and lyrical skills to the test. Now, on to the interrogation. All right, that's it. Step forward, man. Now explain your look, man. I, I like this okay, whole, no. just left the job, I'm about to go postal on somebody. I'm that's it, and I'm from Toledo, Ohio. This is not a joke. I mean, there's a lot of white rappers that take their, you know, music seriously. If you look at me like this, you're paying attention to me at first, so you're gonna give me a chance and be like, well, you know, why is that kid looking like that? Or I'm gonna say, hey, he just left Kinko's. He must have worked a tough shift. That's it. Build another skyscraper to look up at. Man, I am the way I am, and I ain't gonna change. The way these girls follow me, they call me Soap Train. That's it. That's Say thank you, man. You want to step up, man? What's pimpulating? My name is John Brown, King of the Burbs from Davis, California. I choose to move up a king. That's what makes me the King of the Burbs. Do you have thug credentials? Yo, what's really hood, man? Suburbia. So everybody got the, you know, the Pinot Grigio, the Pinot Noir. You know what I'm saying? Got that couscous. We're talking about them keg parties. You know what I'm talking about? And we're just trying to do the damn thing, baby, for this ghetto revival. And that's just like totally ridiculous. I'm a player, when it come to the play clock, I'm something like Mookie Blaylock. I'm real Kurt, you play Spock. Get a revival, baby. King of the Burbs. Let's see KC step to the plate. That's me. That's me. Let's see KC from Oswego, New York. I grew up in a small town with more cows than people. Cows are great to rap about. You know, it's a whole black and white thing. Why do you love hip hop? Because it embodies my soul it lets me flow and go where i want to go and be who i want to be see what i want to see nyc missy kc i can't stop it's like chips <laughs> with shamrock step forward man can you give us a smile real quick night, night. can you spit something for us my name fresh game fresh stay fresh with no expiration i play life like a game of chess with no rest or hesitation and put the clock on and i'm gonna chew your ass up my name is shamrock from atlanta georgia you comfortable with the term wigger you know i think it's really an ignorant term because you know there's a play on another ignorant term basically you know if uh, someone wants to call me that they don't know me i've been a living breathing part of hip-hop since you know i can move all right step forward tell us about yourself my name is Misfit from London slash Brooklyn. It, like, possibly it's going to be harder just because, yeah, I'm female, I'm white, and I'm English. It's like three things going against me. 50, I'm patiently waiting to blow, waiting to get my m dough. Because when I blow, I'm hit you blazing. I'm blonde, beautiful, and Caucasian. I give a f about you, f about you. I give a f if you choked on my d and your face turned blue. They wear more glitter than us. They want my d in their 
You're about to see Peter Party on TV Cause I'm about to reach celebrity status They say I curse like I'm Hex and I spit like a dude I rep my set to my death and I will eat your food My name is Persia, I'm Farakoli Queen I rhyme about pretty much everyday life What did you get out of your neighborhood in terms of you becoming an MC? I got joy There's something about growing up hood that just doesn't compare to money at all What did I get out of my neighborhood? Raw, real-life experiences. My neighbors are fierce. I see it real and I see it raw. Wow, I didn't know it was that hard in Connecticut. That's great. <laughs> All right, g -Shop. If you had to pick an MC that you could most be like, who would it be and why? Vanilla Ice. I'm g Child from Allentown, Pennsylvania. I get a lot of crap for it, but my biggest influence is Vanilla Ice. Yeah, what? People want to diss because I flow with Vanilla Ice? They don't understand how the man changed my life. All you sucker MCs want to come to me. I'll have them down on their knees. They be falling like Alicia Keys. Uh, just Rhyme, how you doing, man? Okay, thank you. My name is Just Rhyme. I currently reside in Los Angeles, California. I, I'm a full-time MC, full-time PhD student in ethnic studies at USC. White, black, and brown folk. White, bread, and town folk. Righteous, united to fight. Let's get down, folk. Jaja, hey, hey! My name is Jaja, I'm from Brooklyn. I step back, I say, well, maybe the reason why I'm not signed yet, like real big, is because I'm white. I like the way you me, so don't go roaming off. I ride you like a pony until I hear you dozing off. I'm into contact sports, sports so you better be athletic. Take off, just down, either way you're gonna get it. I'll knock you out the socks if you talk too much. It's tight! It's crazy! I don't care if you are lonely, or maybe you're forlorn. If I wanted to see ass cheeks, I'd go home and watch porn, watch porn. But you're the brown, brown. Too many bus mics, but too repetitive. Butt wipes, your blood type must be B negative. So what they say, was mox to my Yiddish, what up? Gunish me, gunish the Yiddish a cup. Uralu, keep it Yiddish. Friday night, I say Kiddish. And then, I drink and finish. <laughs> 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 That dude was bonkers. Sully, AKA Young Hef. My name is Sully, and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. My father came home from prison, and he moved us to the suburbs. What, what do you rhyme about? I rhyme about my life, things that I know about. I know about girls, I know about parties. From my town to yours, hydraulics on the car. I get it off all fours and suicide the doors. My whole life, I'm flossed until it's over. Running around laps with Boston on my shoulder. Stand up. Nice, man. Uh, John Boy, step forward. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, I'm ready. My name is John Boy, and I'm from Reedville, Virginia. Put me on your TV and Virginia will surround you. See, I'm the worker, y'all, so go on, let them clock out. Because last time I was here, it was a knockout. Where does MC Search stand to you? Hey, Pop goes a weasel. You know? Kiss-ass points do not count here. I was like nine years old, you know? Now you're making me sound like your grandpa. <laughs> Damn, bro. 100 proof. It says here that you are the one and only drunk rock rapper. Are you drunk now? Hey, it happens. Want a proof? From Blue Mound, Texas? You can be a dirtbag, have a shaved head, and wear jerseys and tattoos, and still love him. What is that one double zero putting proof in the trunk? Half man, half liquor, one hell of a drunk. Coming straight out the funk, or better yet, Blue Mound, and nine times out of ten, I'm with you, Ben Hellbound. Because America, something's giving us an itchy anus. And I think it's Nicole Richie and the rich and famous. And if we want to cut these genital warts off, we got to go in just like we General Schwartzkopf. F the good kids, because they be playing rugby when we be in the forest mud and on a doom buggy. Now, I know I shouldn't say this. I know it isn't right. But you guys, I had a C-section. That's high and tight. High and tight, y'all. No forceps here. High and tight, y'all. I didn't even push. Peace. Well, this has been interesting, man. Thank you all for coming through here, man. And uh, we wish you the best of luck, and hopefully we'll see you at the house. Long day, man. Man, very long day. I mean, we have to narrow this down to 10. All right, so let's start narrowing it down, man. That's it. He did have an interesting fashion sense. That's always been big for you. G Child was interesting. To have the cojones to say you're Vanilla Ice's number one fan, I mean, balls to do that. 100 Proof, Fort Worth. I like 100 Proof. He's like Kid Rock on crack. <laughs> Jaja? She's nutty. She is bonk airs. Ah, uh, CKC. Just a little overboard for me. Persia, liked Persia a lot. Oh, she was like the realest one. I mean, we have to narrow this down to 10. Peter Party. Party. Yeah, nah, he's whack. Mighty Stefan. Like, I didn't really want to ever hear him again.
man, that's it. That's the 10. You got John Boy, Persia, John Brown, Sully, Shamrock, 100 Proof, G Child, Dasset, Just Rhyme and Misfit. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the White Rapper Show. Job well done. Job well done. Coming up on Ego Trips, the White Rapper Show. Our 10 finalists get their first look at their crib in the Bronx. It's the roach in the bathroom. What? You're lying. No, it's the roach in the bathroom. And one of the residents turns the house white hot. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the South Bronx, man, the birthplace of hip-hop. You're the 10 finalists for the White Rapper Show. Congratulations on making it this far. In the coming weeks, you're going to be tested mentally, skills are going to be scrutinized, your heart's going to be questioned every step of the way. Based on your skills and your personality, one of you is going to win $100,000 and be known as the next White Rapper to blow up big time, all right? So here we are, where it's going to go down, the White House. Illis crib in the Bronx. Once inside, get yourself situated, I'll meet you in the living room, all right? Go ahead. Entree vous. Okay, so Walking in the house, I think everybody maybe were expecting some luxury items, and it's really white trash. Hi. See some reluctant heads in the back. You all right with the crib? What's wrong? It's beautiful, man. Yeah. It's part of the revival, man. I know it's not your typical, you know, reality crib. We wanted to keep it true to the essence of hip-hop, what hip-hop really is. We're giving props to old-school New York here, you feel me? And if it's all right with you, I want to give you my little personal tour of the crib. Show you around a little bit. See here, we got straight PJ style basketball court right here. This is the rec room. Fully functional, state of the art studio. So if any of you got mixtape aspirations, I suggest you use this to your fullest capabilities. Yeah, Look yeah, at you, yeah, you're yeah. geek. I love it, geek. I love it. He's geek, he's like, yeah. Don't steal nothing. All right. <laughs> we got the game room. Straight out of Rikers, we got the inmate spots right here. This right here, big ass mayo jar. When you got mayo, my big ass face is gonna appear right here. <laughs> Let y'all know what's popping. Let you know what's coming up. And whatever I say in here is gonna be major. So make sure you pay close attention to it, all right? So you guys comfortable with each other? Feel good around each other? It's gonna be interesting when y'all start knocking each other off though, because ultimately that dude next to you is stopping you from getting 100 Gs. Opportunity is not like a bus. Doesn't come around all the time. I mean, just to be here in this situation, whether I went home tomorrow or tonight, just to be in the top 10 is saying something. All right, get yourselves comfortable. Relax, enjoy yourselves. I'll see y'all in a few, all right? Good night. It's the roach in the bathroom. What? <laughs> You're lying. No, it's the roach in the You're bathroom. <laughs> Those bathrooms are a little too filthy for me. Thank you all for coming, too. Thanks. White trash with no class, day in, day out. This looks like it could definitely be part of the ghetto revival, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> First night, there was just us just going wild. We're in the South Bronx, the birthplace of hip-hop. If we had some drinks, this night would be completely different. I can't do... You know what I, have, you know what I feel sorry for? When everybody gets drunk? Oh, I feel real bad for this when everybody gets hammered. <laughs> when everybody's wasted, everybody's like, miss it. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. She's dope. Everybody knows she's dope. She knows she's dope. I know she's dope. Everybody in this room knows she's dope. She knows I know she's dope. I think you'll be just fine. Blonde, beautiful, and Caucasian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all already know. <laughs> mm. How'd you get your name? King of the Burbs. I still don't really get that. King of the Burbs is a brand name. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's always extended to the ghetto revival, man. When John Brown is talking, I have no idea what he's talking about. Because if, if I was my own entity and I wasn't connected to a ghetto revival, I'd still be on some King of the Burbs. He constantly reps this thing called ghetto revival and he calls himself the King of the Burbs. And I have no idea what that means. To the King of the Burbs, what the f do you know about the ghetto? Plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not an artist, I'm not a rapper. I'm saying I rap, 
but first and foremost, I'm an entity. John Brown feels he's a little superior. He's a little lost in his little world. I know me, Doug, I'm trying to get this franchise popping, you know, in order to be part of this whole ghetto revival. Like, that's real talk. How, it's not how, just how, the promotion. How y'all planning on reviving the ghetto? Come on. I mean, with me, I'm the king of the burbs. You know what I'm saying? I'm a member of Ghetto Revival. Right, but I'm asking you, you keep saying that mm -hmm. you put the money into Ghetto Revival. How are you going to revive the ghetto? We're going to do all kinds of things. Of course, you, you can start power. studios. You can, we, we have... Yeah. Oh, you want to revive the, the rap ghetto. Hmm? I'm trying to say is, I'm doing all this work so we can have like a bigger movement, a revival, you know, something that is, is, is like can go down in history is bigger than me. But I didn't hear no genuine ideas Dog. since you've been thinking about reviving the ghetto for so long. I'm not intrigued at all at Ghetto Revival. I have my own ghetto. Um, we have no no urge for John Brown to revive us. Why wouldn't you want to get down with the Ghetto Revival? Because I don't believe nothing y'all say. Sound like bull to me. Nobody understands how King of the Burbs goes in to get a revival. Of course not, because I'm the King of the Burbs. Okay, forget it. Yeah, man. John Brown just agitating me and the way he was talking. He just kept going and going and I'm tired of hearing the same things. And I was like, he's full of Go revive the ghetto. If he doesn't stop talking. I'm liable to snap. Out of here. Coming up on Ego Trips, the white rapper show. The rappers face the tough streets of the South Bronx where they must earn the respect of their neighbors. Get this man a deal right here, man. And back at the house, John Brown pushes Persia over the edge. Hey yo, I need all of you guys to put your backs against the wall. Alrighty, so here's what's gonna go on right now. Since you guys are new to the Bronx, it's kind of a tradition in the Bronx that people go and greet each other. Here's your first challenge. I'm gonna split you into two teams. And you're gonna go out and you're gonna impress the neighbors. You're gonna break bread with them and you're gonna spit for them. The team that impresses the neighbors the most wins. The losers come back here and face elimination. So one of the residents is going home, all right? I'm gonna first pick two team captains. Persia, come on. John Brown, come on, man. This side. John, I want you to make the first pick. I'm gonna get Misfit. I chose Misfit, 100 Proof, That's It, and John Boy because I felt like all of us represented different spectrums of the quote-unquote white rapper. I chose the people I chose because everyone has their own talents. Shamrock, G Child, Justin, and Sully. All right, now, you can't go to the neighbors empty-handed. So both of you teams, you're gonna walk around with these gifts. Let me show you what you got for the neighbors. We have, for the females, of course, a white beater. Uh, can't leave the dudes out. Of course, oh, white rappers can't go out with their saltines. You gotta have some practice. And very important, sealed envelope. Make sure they get this. Every neighbor sealed. You'll find out what's in the envelope later at elimination. You ready? Yeah. All right, now remember, the results of this challenge are gonna weigh towards your elimination. All right, be easy. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, peace. Right now, pretty much everyone in my group is equal and we'll all help each other get through it. Just let it flow natural, don't play nothing. When you rehearse, then you got a gimmick, you can tell. Persia somehow feels threatened by me or she just doesn't like me. I could care less. I mean, I'll do what I have to do to win and um, I'm sure she will too. In terms of the packaging, we want to present you um, an eclectic representation of the new era by rap. Absolutely. It's like right now, man, I got a job to do and I got, you know, a team to represent and I think that, you know, the game needs the king of the burbs right now and we're going to do the damn thing. All right, what's poppin', family? We here. Just wanted to, um, you know, introduce ourselves, and, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to give you a little <laughs> example of what we do. I was confused when I seen the white rappers coming down the block. I was wondering what was going on, you know what I mean? <laughs> what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? What sets me apart from my roommates is I've been rapping since 91, and I'm not intimidated to flow in front of anybody. If you got skills, they will respect you. Don't make it complicated, really, you sit Just get me on the track and watch a sizzle. I gotta change it up, I'm always running down the middle, so I gotta play action pass. Get these defenders backing off me a little. Okay. It's almost more scary to do that than it is to stand in front of 20,000 people. Those it is good. It's, I see him as the next Eminem. The rest of them was, yeah, they was all right. That's the best I can say. 
I thought that it was great. We definitely got a lot of good vibes from everybody. Always in a mix like Betty Crocker, but when it comes to making dough, I always do it proper. I know y'all know a little something about that. The point of the challenge was to send us out into the neighborhood, see how well we meshed with hip hop culture, the rap world, people who listen to it. What's up, man? How you doing? We're doing a hip hop competition. My yeah. team. Um, What's good, man? The Sorry. Next white rapper. Thanks. We're going around, seeing what everybody feels about our music. Would you like this? Yeah, I hope it's fire, man. Me being a white girl in the Bronx, you know, people, I thought people were probably going to look at me, you know, I thought people were going to bust some caps, but. <laughs> When someone passes me the mic, they may never get it back. So just lay low, relax, throw your hands back and clap. Yeah, bitches, tripping like your mama didn't tie your laces. Run up to me, fall on your faces. Heard about the camp and the rock, they rock. Word is kid low sick like smallpox. Fuck remaining stereotypes, cause I'm gonna bang your stereo right. Get this man a deal right here, man. Oh, you spit for him and you get love and they're like, that's what's up. That's the best feeling in the world, like for real. This shirt, sweetie. Love. How you doing? How you doing? It was John Brown. You know, I, I brought the whole South Bronx into my, my flow. Let's see what you got. Straight out of Virginia, you know that my flow rocks. I want to be the best, so I moved to the South Bronx. White rap, black rap, to me it's just hip hop. I love it so much, that's why I will never stop. I definitely impressed. Definitely. Oh, cool. I kind of got the feeling that the other team went out to prove themselves. And I think my team had a lot more heart. We kind of went out there to mesh with the culture and get to know everyone. Who rap? I'm rapping. I feel like Persia shined the most in our crew. And she was just looking for people to battle. They break the rules up in your hood, you best detain them fools. We was all born to die, but was you born to lose? I might sound cocky and it might sound funny, but stay the f out of my lane, y'all can't outrun me. When them cops all come, I'm gonna be right here, cause I'm a G. Get it right, I don't know no fear. She's so hood, man. She knows she's perfect for this hip hop game. My heart is battling. So I think our neighbors are feeling us, you know what I'm saying? The last house, we went and we flowed for a pioneer in, in the hip-hop game. Pipulating, man. Grandmaster Flash is famous for his innovative DJ skills and landmark recordings that revolutionized hip-hop. You couldn't feel more in the Bronx and walking up the door and Grandmaster Flash opened. That was a surreal experience. Do you know where you are? The Boogie Down Bronx. Do you know what the Bronx represents, though? Um. Well, let's stop for me. Let me tell you. Some real great people came out of here. Cool Hook, Africa, Bambada, MCs like Mel, Mel Raheem. If it wasn't for this South Bronx, it wouldn't be no hip hop. I want you to know that. You oh. team captain? Hold up. Don't say yes, nothing. Sir. You team captain? Yes, sir. So, make it happen. A bag of Texas gal in a New York minute. Cali out in Miami sinning. We getting cheese out in Philly because the stakes is high. More capital in D.C. than take a V.A. drive. Get a revival, baby. Mm. My two for five's got the hood on sale. Shot, stabbed in love, or locked in jail. Through the fire to the limit, trust I hold my own. And I rep for my crew, be it love or chrome. That's hard, you guys are really good. I'm speechless. I'm glad I wasn't that speechless at the door. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for everything. When I thanked Grandmaster Flash, I was thanking him for his struggle, the, the path he gave rappers to follow. You know, I see Flash around, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was something that wasn't shocking, you know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, it's just a day in the life of the king of the burbs. Later. I think we did our thing. Yo, we did damn good. What are you talking about? You know, obviously I have a lot of love for all my people, and it worked out well. Props to Persia for leading us. I feel like I picked the perfect team. Um, we got props everywhere we went, so I'm really confident about this one. Oh. So drink, you said f so you got a drink. Well, everybody was just like, yo, we need, to, we need to have a party, we need to celebrate the fact that we're here, and just kind of enjoy each other's company and have some fun while we're here. Who's Absolutely. feeling good? Put your hands just up in the air. Put your hands in the air. We all knew that we were going to get to see the real people once they start drinking. If I'm asleep in my bed and I'm a dreaming about heat, Trust him, I'm gonna come over to you and I'm gonna battle you in your sleep. Yo, get your weight up, not your hate up. You know what I'm saying? My hate? Oh, you got to have skills for me to hate you. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't like you. I don't like you. I know Persia had some beef with John Brown. You know, she never really came out and said anything, but once she got a couple drinks in her, she just looks right at John Brown and she goes, you know what? I don't like you. I don't like you. John Brown is a bitch. He's a clown in the house. I got a dildo in my drawer. I can put it Hey, hallelujah, holla back, baby. Yeah, holla these nuts, bitch. D do your thing. Yo, girl, I don't know where you got nuts from. But you yo, really sleep at night? Holla you sleep back, at baby. night knowing all the bullshit that you do? You not the 
lyricist. You're not a rap. You ain't none of that. You put on some hip hop clothes and you think you damn. You the reason mother hip hop gets mother disrespected. That's why I'm not a rapper, man. I'm an entity. Take your bull ass home. You step on the court and I lace you with a bat. I'm going to put no hands on you. I battle you lyric for lyric, line for line. She just got at it. I mean, she just kept harping and harping on him and he really had nothing to say. Yo, girl, I got too much game for you. Too much. You got game? Baby, spit it. Spit it. I give you saliva to spit it with your dry mouth slut. He tried to, you know, make some comments and come back at her, but it wasn't working out. She's too hardcore for that. Now you on my bitch. You need to fall back. I'm on your bitch. Your bitch ain't big enough, yo. So he butted in just because he was uh, taking some shots at Persia and, you know, with her being a female, I guess Sully found that very wrong and disrespectful. I'm telling you for real, you need to slow the down before you get yourself hurt and confused on national television. Yo, this hate is wonderful. On some hatred, dog? You want to yell at a girl like you're going to do something? You want to look at me like you're going to do something, son? What you holler at me? Yo, what you want to do, son? Come on! Yo, this hate is wonderful. On some hatred, dog? You wanna yell at a girl like you gonna do something? You wanna look at me like you gonna do something, son? Why don't you holler at me? Yo, which one the do, son? Come on! Disrespected him straight up. Exactly! No battle? Yeah, who got a f in my face? Persia brings out a dildo and put it on that man's mouth. Like, that's that's it. Right, right. You gonna battle? You a real nigga? You got a f in face, you gonna battle? I honestly wanted to push him by any means possible to battle me. Are you gonna battle? You a dude, right? Any dude that have a f in his face will man up. But I was thinking, I, this is how I'm gonna test him. Because everybody I know would just crack me. Yo, I feel What's bad up? for hip hop. These are the new hottest white rappers. Yo, funny, yo. Yo, don't sign these people. These people are liabilities, son. You serious? This is your representation for Far Rockaway? Like this chick who's throwing her dodo in dudes' faces on like national TV? It's like not a good look, bro. You're the bitch, yo. You niggas is ready to knock you out and lose their whole chance because you're the bitch. Well, let's get it popping. Oh, now we about to get it popping, right? You want to fight, but you don't want to battle. Only because you want the nigga to hit you first and go home, right? But you don't, this isn't rap You don't want to battle. Easy. You just want the nigga to hit you first. You a bitch. Would you mind please not using the N-word? The N-word is not appropriate for people to use. It can be a hurtful word. Yeah, well, life sucks, and there ain't no dolls in this room. I know, I'm just saying, which I just... Yeah, well, life you... sucks, and ain't no dolls in this room. All right. It ain't personal. How you taking it? My friends are predominantly black and Latino. I'm offended at her saying the word. I know, I'm just saying the use, your use of the N-word. Yeah, well, I grew up in the hood, and we ain't no color. Okay. Everybody's my nigga, right there. Okay. So whoever the takes disrespect is their problem. Wherever they from, they can't say it in front of their peoples, that's their problem. Everybody's my nigga, and I'm somebody's nigga right now. Okay, do you out of here, stupid ass fake bitch. Y'all know about hip hop, you fraudulent bitch. Hey, man, it's, it's not easy being the king of the birds, man. You know what I'm saying? Get a revival, baby. Woo -woo! Come on, y'all. So I heard uh, things got a little hectic last night. Sully, want to give me a rundown of what went on last night? John Brown, uh, Persia, got into a little thing, thing whatever. And I heard, I heard you held it down last night. I heard you really held it down last yeah, night. Yeah, baby. Well, you know what? Because you're a team captain, I got some heavy bling I need you to rock. Come in. Come over here. Yeah. Now, you got to rock this all day. All right. Rep this to the fullest. All right. Okay, cool. When I first saw Serge pull that necklace out the box, I was like, wow, that, that chain is no joke. When I argue with people, I generally don't use the word because I don't use it in a malicious manner. But I do say it to my friends, so it's it's bound to happen. See, here's the thing. That word don't play here. Right. Regardless. There was a time in history when those chains were real and they were on black people. So what are you, you know, really doing if you use that word and you claim to represent hip-hop? That word don't flow around the country. 
Mississippi, Tallahassee, Birmingham, they're, they're not really having it, man. Because at the end of the day, it's not about black and white, it's about wrong and right. If black people say it amongst themselves, I mean, that's up to them. I mean, they get, they'll get mad at each other or whoever's saying it, but I, they're not gonna get mad at me because it ain't coming out of my mouth. All right, it seems like you guys need to get out this house for a minute. All right, so I got a little recreation thing for y'all to do. Now, you know, big willies, they like to play golf. You know, that's a big thing now, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's playing golf. Y'all are little willies. So y'all gonna go play some miniature golf, and that stays on. All right? All right? Have a good time. All right, y'all. I mean, like, that was vicious early. This, this chain? Yeah. Was worth putting him in his place. It really was. Everything is getting out of hand. <laughs> what you think about? What you think about her chain? Yeah. Uh, is it heavy? Yeah. Very, very, very heavy. Persia <laughs> looked silly wearing a big inward chain around her neck. You know what I mean? And I, honestly, I felt bad for her, but she brought it on herself, I guess. I don't want to see someone suffer, but perhaps she brought some suffering upon herself. Uh, it's a heavy word. I don't play that. golf, and I can't get my hands around a stick. <laughs> And this thing was bling bling. I mean, this thing was shiny. If you looked at it the wrong way, you might get cataracts. Uh, I didn't realize how heavy it was until she actually got closer and I saw it around her neck and I saw her going like that, you know, just totally weighing her neck down. But well, it was supposed to be a shit. hard lesson to learn in life, not a heavy lesson. <laughs> I think by search calling her out, I think she really realized how far she went with the N-word. I think she took one big bite of humble pie. The N-word was something I shouldn't have said. Saying it the way I said it was my embarrassment. The chain was, I guess it just got too much for me. I am quite humble today. I think she learned her lesson. Uh, I don't know if she'll be changed overnight, but a change happened. I was drunk and it was excessive. Exactly. It's extremely excessive. But at least you're rethinking it. That's the whole point. Versus punishment was uh, pretty heavy. I mean, I was sitting right next to her after the golf course, and she was crying out of nowhere, and I thought I would never see that girl cry. I've learned a lot in life. I've been homeless. I grew up without a father, poor, living in an abandoned house, and I'm so ashamed that it took me offending somebody to learn that what I was doing was wrong. I'm embarrassed that I called him out for being an idiot. Then I sounded just like an idiot. I'm so ashamed. It is not a game, people! Out here now! All right, today is elimination, which means one of you is going home, and your chance at $100,000 is over like Vanilla Ice's career, all right? So because it's elimination, I brought you a little special gift. You have to wear these sneakers to each elimination, but I'm greedy. So when you get eliminated, I want my sneakers back, all right? Come get your sneakers, all right? Tonight, you face elimination. I've been doing this a long time, so I'm not even worried about it. I'm gonna win this thing. I'm not worried about who goes, like, really. I mean, I made some great friends in this house, but if they go, it's just one less person. Wanna welcome y'all to Elimination? Stupid hip hop represents a lot to kids around the way. Represents where they hung out and congregated. Also represents loss of innocence. And for y'all, it's gonna represent a loss of $100,000 because one of you is gonna leave here and not come back. All right, while you were out spitting for your neighbors in the Bronx, what you didn't know is inside that envelope was this. It was a critique form that we asked all the neighbors to fill out. Asking people, how do they find their white rap experience? Would you buy a CD from this artist? Were they whack? Were they strong? And from that, we found a winning team. That winning team is spared from elimination. And will break bread with me right here in the barbecue grill because somebody's getting baked from the losing team, okay? And the winning team from yesterday's first challenge is
winning team from yesterday's first challenge is Team Persia. It's a great feeling, man, not to be up there in the elimination station feeling the intimidation, so. Karja, bring your team over here. Have them sit and break bread and watch somebody get baked, all right? All right, this is the way elimination will work on the White Rapper Show. I'm going to give you a topic to rhyme about, and whoever doesn't come with that fire will get sent home. All right? Since you had this experience in the Bronx, I need you to write a verse about your experience in the Bronx. Now, there's a room that none of y'all have seen yet in this house, and in this place is where you're going to take 30 minutes and write your rhymes. And for one of you, this is the rhyme that cost you 100 Gs. All right? The room that we're going to put you in is the ice ice chamber, where you better not melt under pressure. When you come back, have your rhymes ready, because one of you is going home. Y'all follow me? Pressure to be put in a new spot we didn't even know existed in our house the whole time under our noses, then know that one of us is going home on top of that. You just got to connect and do your thing. Um, when I was writing, I wasn't noticing anybody, you know. I was just totally in a zone. I like being under pressure. I think it brings out the best of me. But only having a half hour to write, that was where the reality really set in for it. All right, y'all, time's up. Come on up. Cool. So, $100,000 on the line. Y'all ready? Let's get it poppin'. The subject is the Bronx. Since you're the team captain, John Brown, we're going to start with you. Sure. Everybody else sit down. All right? Go ahead. Over 30 years of rap, and it's made a lot of money. Hit the streets of the Bronx, five rappers all hungry. We saw a lot of struggle, but the was kind of funny. The Bronx still the poorest borough in the freaking country. Hey, yo, we next in the heart of BX. I thought about Malcolm. My last name could be X. Gotta spit that fire palm. Let's get this ride on. This is John Brown here to infiltrate Viacom. Hallelujah, holla back, little homie. On your proof. So I headed down the street with a red bag of some crackers. In other words, me and four other white rappers. Up and down the street just like some backpackers. Down to drop knowledge. Yo, don't get it backwards. Yo, why was the beat so feet fresh meat on the block? A Texas boy spitting rhymes but still rocking the hawk. But I still put a little trill up in the Bronx that day. Walked on home to the White House. Because I'm planning to stay. All right, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Miss Finn. I'm the block and the BX, spitting at homies It's dumb hot as I flex, letting them know me About how I came with that unique UK flavor From London to NY with my visa waiver I came to show you misfit persona On looks alone, get your man a boner On grand flash stoop, do you always holding it down? Oh, I forgot the last line It's okay, Sorry. it's alright, sit down John Boy You ready? Ready I stayed gunning for that number one position Infatuated with winning, I loved our first competition No composition for me to pencil out my attitude I'm at the White House but not on Pennsylvania Avenue I'm in the boogie down a hundred grand in cash On the line, that's why I ripped it for Grandmaster Flash So, all in all, the Bronx over my eyes Cause I know if I make it here, I'm gonna make it before I die Alright bro, thank you man Thank you Last but not least That's it you ready? Yeah. Go ahead, man. Uh, I didn't write anything. So. Off the head? No, I didn't write anything at all. You didn't write anything at all? All right, everybody stand up. I'm going to start with you, John. I think there was a lot of pressure internally in the house. There was a lot of people running against you, and I think that you took that chip and you turned it into a battery and you really charged through. But project, get it out, it's important. Misfit, the lyrical content, it's there. And your flow is there, but be more confident. Be more confident. 100 proof, you brought a real, almost cinematic flow, but you have to incorporate more cadence, you know what I'm saying, not as simple. John Boyd, very passionate. The one thing I didn't feel was really talk more about the inner experience you had with the Bronx, how you made it feel internally. So you guys can sit down, which leaves that said. Um, you got nothing to say about the birthplace of hip-hop, meeting Grandmaster Flash, being on his old block, 
Oh, I mean, all that was a great experience. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, it was humbling to be doing the whole experience. I mean, I, had, I mean, it was great. I mean, but to do 16 bars right now, to write something, no music, no nothing. I mean, that's that's not what I do. Just write 16 bars about what you did. I mean, I've been to New York before. It's more. It's, it's deeper than that. Okay, I understand that. No, I just no be, obviously I, you don't understand. Well, and obviously you're kind of playing me too. Like you think like I'm playing you. It's not a game, man. You know how many people were, wanted to be in your shoes sitting here in the final 10? Thousands. Kids in Detroit, kids in T-Town. How are you going to feel when you go back to T-Town and the people say, you know what, he blew 100 Gs. You don't even give a f to write? Sit your f ass down, man. Don't f cuss at me? You mean my daddy? What are you talking about? Sit down now. I don't think you realize at the end of this show, with my integrity on the line, people are going to remember that you fronted. So this show ends where the next one will be left off. That's it. Take off your shoes. Time for you to step off. Step off. I know there's a lot of other kids that could be in my spot, but at the end, I wouldn't take it back. I mean, I'm just not inspired to sit around and say, write something on a piece of paper. One thing, I like listening to music and writing songs. So if I don't hear no music and just supposed to just sit there and write something, I just don't do that. I wouldn't even disrespect him if he didn't disrespect me first. He was cursing at me. I mean, you know, I act like I'm one of his kids. Ain't nobody's kid. Uh, I want to say you to search. Understand this and let this be a lesson to all of you in here. It's not a game. I don't care what we put you through. I don't care what we do in this house. This is not a game to me. I am not here to play. Do you understand? Bring your lyrics every time. You don't bring your lyrics, you're going home. That's it, you blew it. Whack MCs, now there's a solution. They're all simple. They're all simple. The White Rapper Show is brought to you by Step Off. I'll stop a microphone. Next on The White Rapper Show, G Child's lack of confidence starts to get the best of her. I honestly feel like I'm the next one to go. I'm the last thing I'm going to let you guys down. No, 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 stop thinking negative. As she goes bonkers in the White House. I hate 50 Cent. I hate Dipset. And two of our white rappers take their relationship to the next level. Good night, everybody. Uh -oh. Next.